Hello and welcome back once again ladies and gentlemen, this is the Basic Gamer and I hope you guys are doing well and having a fabulous time. So today we are checking out how to get our hands on a talisman, yes sir, and which one is it? It's the Viridian Amber Plus 3 boost maximum stamina by the utmost, so that is good. We've been using this one in the past and it worked out really well, now we've got plus 3. So where will you get it? Well, you got to come to the dark light catacombs and then well you'll find it over here in a chest now how will you get to the dark light catacombs well it is a bit of a process so I'll be showing you and telling you some of it on the map okay the rest I'll show you on foot and how to get here so let's say you're starting off from this beginning so you just started the DLC uh, you come to the gray side plain side of grace pick up the map fragment from here the scorch ruins three path cross and then you'll make it watch out for the blister guy on the bridge but make it to the castle front side of grace now you got two options option one is that you go through the castle and defeat ranala and then come through uh, the high road cross side of grace to the shadow keep uh, main gate and then the main gate plaza this is where i'm going to be starting off from showing you how to get to our well desired location okay um but there's another way so let's come back to the castle front side of grace and then in this one you can skip ranala and you don't have to fight her so you come through here and you come through this poison pit uh sorry this map area is not i haven't got the fragment as yet there's going to be a jump seal over here you got to unseal it and then come through through the fort of reprimand touch this side of grace and then you come follow this path is the Morse ruins and see this is actually the high road cross is just behind castle and seats but you'll skip ranala and then you'll just come to the shadow keep um this is the main gate plaza where we're starting off from um so i've got like detailed videos showing you how to actually come from this path that i showed you just now uh and i'll show um i'll share the the link to that video in the description below but in this one because it's going to get really lengthy and i've done it so many times that i'm just going to start off from the main gate plaza side of grace and this is where you actually fight the golden hippo so this is the golden hippo um boss fight arena i do have a video showing how to take him out easily as well and i shall share the link to that video in the description below as well i'm trying not to do the sharing links in the description but yeah because i've done it so many times um so i'm just saying that if you don't if you didn't get and understand how to make your way from here to here and then castle front and then let's say you don't want to fight Ranala. If you do fight her, then it's pretty straightforward. You just take her out in the Castle Lord's Chamber and then you make your way through the back uh, of Castle Ensis and you come to this point where we are. But if you don't fight her, you want to skip her, then you come through through this one and then you're going to come through the poison pits, make your way through. There's going to be a jump spring somewhere over here. You're going to unseal it and there is a video showing how to do that um and i'll share the link to that video in the description below but basically um i've just got to come around and on the top over here there's going to be a pile of rocks you just got to smash it with your weapon and it'll unseal the jump seal and then you just make your way up with the jump seal just come through fort of reprimand and then duck, 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 duck. yeah easy peasy lemon squeezy and this is where we are um like i said um you'll fight the golden hippo here anyway there's a video on that as well and i'll share the link to that video in the description below so what do you do that's where you come in from right so basically you take a left let's take our weapon i'm going to try and skip all the enemies on the way so you just keep going and i actually have a video which is showing how to get to the ruins of unte right so that shows everything that I've just spoken about at the start of the video. So you can watch that. You'll find the link to that video in the description below. If you didn't get understand what I was saying just now, um, it shows everything on how to get to the point that we started off from and also further. Uh, but I thought I'll show you this bit just in case you haven't seen it or been here um just trying to make it you know as easy as possible and so that you don't have to like look up 
you know, too many things or, you know, go and watch like more than one video or two. Well, in this case, I hope you can understand and get what I was saying uh, from this one. If not, then one more video shall do the job, which will be in the description. Um, that shows the first bit on how to get to the main gate plaza where we started off from in this video. Yeah, so a lot of talking, but well, you got to do a little bit of talking to make you understand. Okay, so you're going to pick up a painting, and this is the hidden door that I was talking about. You smash it, it's going to open just like that. And then we just got to take a coffin down to the ruins of Unte. And there is a video, like I said, showing how to get to the ruins of Unte. Share the link to that video in the description below. And also how to skip Mr. Golem. Yeah, you can go around the back and just make a few jumps. So you won't need to get the hefty part and all that stuff. You can just go around and enter the ruins. Okay, so now this is where we are. And this is how we're going to be going. Down, down, down. Okay. And then finally, no, not that one. So yeah, down here, down like this but you should be seeing now it's all about getting on torrent and making our way it's gonna be a few jumps that you might wanna well be careful with otherwise it's pretty straightforward this guy is uh, crazy he can well send really big fire well not balls but in like circles or you know like beams a big fire beam circles 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 haha <laughs> okay anyway we're just gonna restart it so this is the see he's still doing it so this is the recluses river upstream side of grace right so just hop on mr torrent and make our way through yes sir easy peasy eleven oh watch out for that jump and then there's gonna be another dangerous one over here yeah, we're coming across and I'll just keep pointing out a few things that you can pick up on the way um, so you do pick up a seal it's the dry leaf seal uh, and then the dry leaf um, what do you call it armor set on the way yeah so that's that's quite handy so we are about to reach the other side of grace that we wanted to go to I think that's the recluses downstream side of grace it's just gonna be somewhere over here where are ya Side of Grace, come on. It's gonna be here somewhere. Where'd it go? Yeah, right here. So we just restart it again. So this is the Recluses River downstream side of Grace. So making our way through. And you can see where um, that marker is. That's where you're gonna pick up the dry leaf seal. Okay. Um, it does boost, I think, Mikola's incantations yeah that's what it does so it's a seal for your incantations so make your way down Ooh, whoa, look at that birdie died we didn't haha -ha. okay so once you made your way down if you go that way you do pick up a few items over there and a secuda fragment as well but we're not going there right now you can check it out and then you make your way down Okay, and behind this waterfall over here, I think this is the one, is it? Yeah, this is where you find the um, armor set, but we're not, we've already picked it up. That's the dry leaf armor set. Okay, now carefully, gotta make our way down. Duck, 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 duck. Yeah, ha, ha. So, this is just, whoa, -oh. gotta be careful one wrong jump and it's bye bye ta ta so i haven't explored that side there's like a few rhinos and stuff over there um but we just gotta go down 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 further down so we're gonna take those um ledges down but you can if you want to explore this area go ahead we are headed towards the dark light catacombs where we're gonna find our viridian amber Medallion plus three, boosting our stamina by utmost stamina recovery speed. Is it? Yeah. Whoa! Oh, whoa! Oh, that was that was close. Okay, so just keep aiming, keep doing what I'm doing, and very carefully, carefully. I'm being a little bit, you know, 
won't say greedy, but just trying to do this as soon as I can. Okay, so now that we've made our way down, these are this is the place we got to be. The door is going to be closed. So you got to open the door, and then you got to take this lift down. We're almost there, guys, and it's almost done. And yeah, just wanted to show you the location. I just wanted to make it a bit thorough. Um, yeah, that's why the videos are a bit longer. But hey, you wouldn't have to check out too many things. Okay, so you touch this side, Gray. See, this is the dark light catacombs. And okay, so once you make it here, let's just turn our light on. If you go straight, you're gonna pick up something. Yes, sir. Watch out for the guy right there around the corner, ready to ambush you. Yeah? And these guys are the most annoying, I must say. Most annoying. Um, I, I've died a few times over here just now while making the video, so I had to do a bit of an edit. But this guy is the most annoying because he's killed me a few times. So watch out for this guy, okay? And leave that guy alone because he's not saying anything to us, so we'll leave him. So just make your way down. Do this lever. It's going to turn on all the lights over here. And then you can make your way. Watch out for Mr. Bazooka Face. Okay, Mr. Bazooka Face is down. Now over here, very carefully, put the weapon away. Very carefully make a jump and then just be very careful because you can go down very easily and now just yeah there you go so you got to make this jump very carefully as well and here we are guys this is where you're gonna find the viridian amber medallion plus three and that's the item that we were after so you just got to open the chest and you shall have this item and then well you can well Stamina, more stamina, more hits, and go crazy. All right, this is it for this one, guys. Until next time, happy gaming, take care, bye-bye.